dogs rescued this week during a suspected dog fighting ring bust in Smith County. KETK's Ashlyn Anderson spoke to the people caring for those animals, some with serious injuries, and tells us how they're doing tonight. These dogs look so much better just today. If you'd have seen this girl yesterday, you'd have cried. Six seriously injured dogs were rushed to Spence and White Veterinary Hospital in Tyler. They are some of the dozens taken from a Smith County property on Monday. His eye had actually been bitten, his right eye, and we had to go in on surgery and actually close it. We're going to try to save the eye. These dogs suffered some of the worst abuse and suspected to have been used for dog fighting. The marks are visible to their faces, legs, and bellies. Some wounds were even stapled by their owners. They're used just to frenzy the dogs and have the hell beat out of them. And that's how they train these dogs. They're trained to do this. The nearly 60 other dogs and two cats seized are being cared by the Smith County Animal Control. Right now everybody has kind of cozied in. Um, they're in the air conditioned facility, so they're not out in the heat. And they're having to uh, be out in the weather and stuff like that. And they are for sure getting two meals a day. The intake causing the shelter to be nearly three times their capacity. Our kennels as it sits is we're full. I don't have any other kennels to put any any dogs in. Dr. Spence says none of the dogs have died and the critically wounded are recovering well and wagging their tails. I mean these dogs are amazing if they have the will to be worked with and so far all these dogs here have got the will. The county will keep the dogs until the owner's first court hearing. After that, their next steps will be evaluated, so the abuse they have already been through will never happen again. The county says first part of their evaluation will be to see the temperament of the dogs, and we have to remember many of these animals were trained to fight by their owners. Casey Isaac. Yeah, some of those videos, oh, they're just they're just hard to see with all the injuries. Now, Ashlyn, uh, we know that one man was arrested on the property yesterday, and we've yes. learned more about him and the charges he's facing. Uh, but there was also a second man that they were looking for. Yeah, any updates on that suspect, Ashlyn? You know, uh, we were told that he left the property before deputies got there. Yeah, so we got a uh, confirmation today by the sheriff's office. The person they arrested yesterday, his name is 34-year-old Kerry Jones. This is him right on your screen and he's facing several charges including cruelty to non livestock animals and the other suspect you were talking about. We also got confirmed at our station today. The second man arrested is Michael Jones. The county tells me they're also continuing to look for leads that could lead to more people involved in this abuse of these dogs. I'll send it back to you.